Margaret Bryan Philosopher Margaret Bryan Eiffel, 1815, was an English natural philosopher and educator and the author of standard scientific textbooks. She was schoolmistress of a school located at various times in Blackheath at Cadogan Place and in Margate at Bryan House above the yet-to-be-discovered Margate Caves. Her first known work was Compendia System of Astronomy 1797, collecting Bryan's lectures on astronomy. Life The year of her birth is uncertain, probably before 1760. She married a Mr. Bryan and had at least two daughters as shown in a portrait of her. Teaching Bryan was described as a beautiful and talented schoolmistress. Her school appears to have been situated at one time at Blackheath, at that time a village southeast of London, at another at 27 Lower Cadogan Place, near Hyde Park Corner in the fashionable west end of the capital, and also at Margate in Bryan House above the yet-to-be-discovered Margate Caves. Publications Her published works are dated 1797. In 1797 she published in quarto, by subscription, a compendious system of astronomy, with a portrait of herself and two daughters as a frontispiece, the whole engraved by William Nutter, from a miniature by Samuel Shelley. She dedicated her book to her pupils. The lectures of which the book consisted had been praised by Charles Hutton, then at Royal Military Academy, Woolwich. An octavo edition of the work was issued later. The Critical Review printed her reply to what she saw as a damaging article in that journal. In 1806 Bryan published, also by subscription, and in quarto, Lectures on Natural Philosophy 13 Lectures on Hydrostatics, Optics, Pneumatics, and Acoustics, with a portrait of the author engraved by Heath, after a painting by T. Kearsley, and there is a notice in it that Mrs. Bryan educates young ladies at Blackheath. In 1815, Bryan produced an astronomical and geographical class book for schools, a thin octavo. Conversations on Chemistry, published anonymously in 1806, is also ascribed to her by Watton in the Biographical Dictionary of Living Authors, 1816, but is in fact a book by Jane Marsit.